So you want to be a unicum, but you don't know how. It's actually really easy, and I'm going to give you the secrets of how you can easily up your win aid if that's what you want to do. Stay tuned. All right, guys, thanks for visiting my website, and today's video is all about win aid. Now, before we even start this video, let me just explain something. A lot of people have come to my YouTube channel and said, why are you talking about XVM? Why are you talking about Win8? It's not even part of the game. Well, it's because this is the things that I get asked a lot. I get asked in, whether it be comments left on the videos, whether it be private messages in game, I am getting inundated with people saying, how do I improve my Win8? All the time. And it's for good reason, guys. You know, let's not beat around the bush. The fact is, is that you go to the website for the for or the forums for the Watt website, and guess what? Everybody's got their little signatures on there with their pretty little colors saying, hey, look at my colors. And, you know, it's okay. I mean, I'm not making fun of anyone for doing that. It's great. There's nothing wrong with having pride in your abilities and how well you do. Uh, that's why the game has medals. That's why we have awards, you know. And, again, there's nothing wrong with that. That happens in every game. You know, I came from World of Warcraft. In World of Warcraft, everybody was looking for epic gear, you know. And then you'd stand there in the city and da -da -da -da, look at my judgment set. You know, so it's there's nothing against it. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, so this video is simply because, or sorry, this this video is simply going to be made because um, I get asked a lot, and unfortunately, a lot of people don't realize how really easy it is to up your win eight, and it's really so easy that I'm amazed that other people don't know about it. Uh, so that aside, let's get on with it. So, first of all, you're looking on the screen here, and this here is one of the main victims or criminals in this Win 8 debacle. It is the AMX Elk, a Tier 5 French light tank. Awesome tank. Real fun. Uh, this was one of my first ones that I got was really fast, you know. You know, zipped around the map and just pissing people off and trying to shoot me and whatnot. I had a blast playing this, but I haven't played it for a long time. Uh, I've moved on to other tanks now, and uh, of course with the wheelies in now, you've got faster tanks anyways. But the reason why it's used so much is because it's a perfect tank for getting high win 8. So, how do you improve your win 8? Well, one term simply explains it all. Low expected value. Actually, I guess I did that wrong. Low expected value. Uh, what that means is every tank in the game of World of Tanks has gone through the system and there's programs that figure out exactly what should be the average damage expected from that tank. Some tanks are what we know as OP, meaning they're going to do a lot of damage, so they have a higher expected value for those tanks. Whereas there's crappy tanks who don't do a lot of damage, so they have low expected value. Um, the trick is, is finding a low expected value tank that can still do damage if played differently than as it's meant for. So this is why this tank, the Elk, is so commonly used for this. I'm sure you've all been in a game, tier 5-ish, that area, and you see an Elk and you're like, go Elk, go spot, man. We need someone to spot. Go to the hill. Uh, go over here. Go go spot it or scout for us. And the, whoever the driver is just sits there and ignores everybody and stays in the bush and just plays as a TD. Some, some players will even argue that it's a TD. It's not. It has passive scouting. It should be able to scout at the beginning. As I've said in my How to Play Lights, don't worry about yourself at the beginning of the game. Play for the team. Go out and scout, go to the choke points, show, spot all the enemy, and at the end of the game, get your damage. And I'm going to explain to you how easy it is to be a Unicom using this tank and other ones like it. Um, the reason why these guys sit in the bush and just pad their stats is they're going for like 5k kind of win 8s. Let me just explain this. If you're getting 2k win 8, that's awesome. That's blue, if not higher. 
if you want to go for super Unicom, that's when you got these guys going for like 4K and 5K. Just absurd. If you've got that much, you know how to use the system and you're using it. Again, nothing wrong with that, but it's really obvious if you're getting that. You're using the particular tanks that you know that are going to be really easy to up your win eight with. So, how bad is it, Mr. Beetlebum, you ask? Well, let me show you. If you go to Google and type in, as I've done here, what? Low expected value tanks. You got all kinds of information to go here. One that I like to go to is the, uh, what is this through? The Tanks GG. Here is the AMX Elk. And here, this column here, is its expected value, okay? 393 damage. That's it. I mean, the Archer, same tier, 605. You know, same tier in SBG, 653. But for some reason, the Elk, is only 393. Now you say, well, that's 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 not low. Well, hold on. Let's go over here and see. Thanks, GG. Damage. This is per shot, guys. Per shot. 240. So do you know what this other do you know what this means? In an elk, if you get two shots, you've already achieved the uh, the median for being green if not close to blue uh, in the win eight okay you do three shots three lousy shots and you're unicum you're purple for that game so what this means is if you play an elk and you sit there on average game after game after game after game after game three shots that hit you're a super unicum by the end of the week your stats are going to go through, your, your win eight at least, is going to go through the roof. Now, I can tell you from personal experience, playing an elk, yes, you have some games where you zip out and poof, you get shot right away, one shot. But if you play smart, it is so easy. Forget three shots. How about more like three kills a game? No problem. Especially if you do what I'm talking about. The guys who sit there and snipe all game long, Hell, man, half the time they get TK'd by some angry guy because they're not doing their job. Uh, they sit in the back too long and they don't get the early damage anyways. It's much better to go up and spot, help the team out, and then scoop up a bunch of damage on your way. You're going to have situations where you get lit, so you boom, you shoot off, hit the guy, run, get safe, and then do cleanup at the end, kill a couple tanks. And, and like I said, you're going to be super unicum numbers. And you say, oh, well, I don't want to play the Elk. Well, guess what? There's a lot of other tanks. Again, if you go to this list and just keep looking through here, it, I've done it by tier right now, but you can set it up, of course, so that you can go by nation or by what kind of tank it is. But let's just put it, I'll just cut to the chase for you. I'll just help you so you know which ones it is. The Luch, for example, the German tier four tank. Um... It's a great one, although most of the ones from tier four below aren't that good at doing the win eight because uh, they're kind of evened out. It's more about tier five and up. But let's just say for tier five and up, every light that you can get your hands on are great. T71, oh my lord, what a wicked tank for doing your win eight. Um, the elk, everything basically. The chaffy tier <laughs> tier five, that's another one. The chaffy, same thing. Do two kills, you're laughing. You're gonna be purple. Um, and then as you go up, mediums, the Soviet mediums. We hear all the time about Soviet bias. Well, when it comes to win eight, man, Soviet bias big time. Uh, your mediums are really good. The T34, for example, uh, tier five. What else did I write down here? Uh, T34, 85, the E8. Uh, tier 7, you got the KB-13, T-43 in all lights, especially the WZ-131. Uh, you know, again, Tier 8, eight T-44, you're seeing a, there's a little bit of a pattern there. It's Soviet mediums and lights. And then when you get up to Tier uh, tier 10, for example, uh, it's funny. It, even the, the, um, the whatchamacallit, the, uh, oh, I forgot, what was that name? What was that name? The IS-7, the one with the wicked new skin, and the IS-7 of all tanks. 
super OP as it is, but yet that is an awesome, low expected value heavy tank. So you wonder why these guys, you know, in when you watch the Watt Finals, when you watch, uh, you know, all these tournaments and whatnot, you see certain tanks being used a lot. Well, there's one reason is because they're really good for battles. That's for sure. I mean, the number one reason why they're using them in tournaments is because they're great for damage. And same with... Uh, uh, the, what is it? Frontline, the the new the new gameplay. The same reason why they use the tanks in that. But then there's also a lot of guys who use these tanks over and over and over again. Uh, like the Patton, you know, the E50. Oh my lord! You want to get easy, easy high win eight, like 4K and 3K and 5K. E50 is nuts. I, I don't know why they haven't changed it, but anyways, it's crazy low. So again, guys. That's how easy it is. It's all about finding tanks that have low expected value and just playing them. Uh, you know, if you really want to be a, uh, a, a Unicom, what you do is spend some money and you're going to get your crew skills up on all those tanks. Like, say, the Elk, you know, get four crew skills on each crew member. Use nothing but gold. Why? Just because you want every single shot to do damage. It's the same thing as guys who are going out for marks of excellence. You know, if you're a normal player who's just using the normal ammo and just playing and having fun, you're not really too concerned with that. Whereas if you are, obviously you load up the gold because all it's about is accumulating damage and you just want to make sure every single shot goes in. You don't want to think about weak spots. And you say, well, Mr. Beelman, why don't you care about this? Well, been there, done that, don't care about it. I actually prefer the game style that I play. And my game style is more about helping other people out. I know that sounds so corny, but I'm notorious for, you know, if there's a tank that goes out there and he's by himself, I'm like, oh, man, dude, you're going to get killed. So what do I do? I go over and I stay behind and I try to support him to keep him up. And then I type, you know, hey, come on back. Um, I don't rush out. You know, I don't rush out trying to get damage. I try to go for the win. And the funny thing is, I'll be the first one to admit, it's kind of funny. I go for the win rate, but the reality is, is you can't even really govern the win rate with one player. You know, a team with a 14 or a tank sign, good luck, you know. You got to have uh, either a platoon or you just got to do your best. Uh, I guess, you know, if I wanted to, I could easily go, maybe I should challenge myself. Go for a month of just playing all the low expected values. So my uh, my signature in the world of tanks forms will be like dark purple or something like that. Uh, the win rate will be what it is, but then when it comes to the win eight, that will be purple. I mean, really not hard, as I just explained to you. Three shots. Three shots. Anyways, guys, I hope this was uh, helpful. It's not a really in-depth thing. It's the weekend. I got people over visiting, and, you know, I don't want to spend too long. Uh, plus, I wanted to get in some games later on. I got things to do. So I didn't want to go too in-depth here. But everyone's been asking, and there seems to be this big mystery about it. So, hey, sorry, I'm laying the cat out of the bag. I'm popping the bubble. I'm giving away all those secrets. It's really not that hard to find out. Go and read it up. Um, I'll tell you one other thing here. Go. Where, where are we? Okay, so when I typed in what low expected value tanks... There's one article, which is awesome. It's still up here, right here. I read this ages ago, years ago. Does it say when it got put up? 2016. So there you go. Probably when it first came up, I read this <laughs> ages ago, only three years ago. But anyways, I read this, and uh, this guy's great, man. Uh, the, the Watt Labs, whoever wrote it. This is the article, and this really uh, explains how Win8 works, the benefits of it, the, the pros and the cons, and then it goes into totally what I just talked about, how to find the tank with low expected value and, you know, how easy it is to up it. So there you go. The cat's out of the bag, like I said before. Go out there. If, you, if this is what you want to do, I'm not telling you to go do this, but if this is what you want, if you want Win8, you want to have high Unicum numbers, you're welcome. You now know how to go out and do it. It's really simple. I think it's boring, but have fun. All right, guys. So if you like the videos, give it a thumbs up. 
If you uh, want to know more about it, uh, what, what I do, and about all the videos, of course, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Uh, it helps me out. And then also, if you want to know what's going on, you can do the ding, the little bell, so you're alerted and you get your little email saying, hey, Mr. Beetle Obama has put up a new video. Or you can just check your subscriptions if you've subscribed. So, guys, have a great weekend. Go out there and kill a bunch of tanks and have a blast. Till the next time, cheers. Oh, yeah. I forgot, guys. Got to tell you, I hit over 60 subscriptions last night. Woo! Oh, yeah, 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 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. Thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate all the subscriptions. Uh, when I hit 100, I guess I'll have to do a bigger dance. But thanks again, guys. Cheers.